Hey guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my June favorites, and I have quite a bit to show you guys, and a lot of it is actually new stuff that I've never featured in any other videos before, so this is going to be pretty exciting, and I'm excited to share with you guys what I've been loving. And I guess I will start off with, like, the non-makeup type stuff first. So, one of the things I've been loving for my skin, which I have mentioned in a video before, but I recently repurchased it yesterday. I ordered it online because I can't find it in any store. Um, and it's the Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist. And I reordered it online. It looks like it comes in... A pretty decent sized bottle and it's $22 so I don't mind spending $22 on this um, what I do is every night I spray it on my face after I get out of the shower and before I go to bed and I don't know ever since I've been using it I swear my skin just looks better brighter I don't know there's something in this that makes my skin look good so I have repurchased it and I originally got it in an Ipsy glam bag and I have you can see so I have like maybe one more use out of this so hopefully my new one gets here quick so I've been loving that as well as speaking of skin I've been loving using this miraculous dry body oil from Victoria's Secret and you can find this at checkout in the impulse area and I really love this stuff. It's $12. And I have to say, I've used... I feel like I've used it a lot and that it should be lower than this. But that's what it is. And I love it because it's exactly what it says. It's a dry oil. So it doesn't leave you feeling or looking really oily and slimy. Um, it just seeps into the skin and gives your legs or wherever you apply it on your body, a gorgeous glow. So I've really been loving this for that purpose. And then another body care item that I've been liking is the Body Shop Mango Body Mist. I picked this up at Ulta, and I want to say that this was about $12. I don't think it has a price anywhere on it. I want to say it was like $12. But, oh my gosh, like, I'm obsessed with the smell of mango. Like, I just think it smells so good. 10 chances to 1, any mango scent. Like, I love the one from Victoria's Secret. I love the Tree Hut mango scrub and body butter. Oh, they smell so good. This smells amazing. I just, I love anything that smells like mango. If you know of a mango candle... Let me know down in the comments below because I'm that obsessed with the smell of mango. I just love how it smells. So, yeah, that is one of my favorites this month. And I do have a nail favorite, and I don't actually have any nail color that is my favorite this month. Because I think I've mentioned in a video recently, and... I also Instagrammed a picture, but I do not have my gel nails on anymore. I just have my real nails. So I'm trying to get them healthy because I really want to be able to wear all kinds of different colors more frequently than like every two weeks. I want to experiment with designs and all kinds of stuff. So to start off, I wanted to invest in a nail strengthener. And my nail care, my, my last nail, or uh, I don't know, my last haul, it was mainly like nail care stuff. And I purchased the Sally Hansen um, nail strengthener. It comes in the purple bottle. Okay, that stuff is crap. I returned it to Target <laughs> because I understand that it's a gel, but it dried bumpy, bubbly, like I, I don't know. And it was $7. So I did return that. That was a fail. And I tried it multiple times. Like I tried just doing one coat. I tried doing two coats. Um, yeah, it was just a disaster. So I returned it. And I've heard a lot of good things about the OPI Nail Envy 
nail strengthener. So I just went to Ulta and I picked this up and yeah, this has been a lot better. I have it on right now and you can tell that it is a smooth, like clear looking coat. And what you do is you apply two coats to your bare nails and then every other day for a week you apply one coat and then at the end of the week you take it all off and you start over again. And I really have been liking this stuff. I feel like my nails are getting harder again, which is good. Um, so yeah, I've really been liking this. All right, now on to actual makeup. So I'll start with face and then I'll go to eyes and then lips. So <clears throat> I mainly have face products that I've been loving this month. One is a new foundation that I purchased because I've been wanting to try it because I had the L'Oreal whipped cream foundation stuff before and I really liked it for a while but then all of a sudden like I felt like it looked cakey on my skin so I just stopped using it because I did not like the look of that but CoverGirl has come out with a whipped cream foundation and I purchased mine in 310 and it just looks like this and I don't really know how to, to describe it because it's not the same as the L'Oreal. I feel like it's more creamier um, and smoother than the L'Oreal one. And I don't know. I just stick my finger in it. I place a dot on each cheek, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And I use my Sonia Keshuk brush, which I purchased from Target. And this stuff just buffs it into my skin so nicely. It's like airbrushed. For me, it gives the perfect amount of coverage um, since I really don't have problem skin. But yeah, I've been totally loving using this foundation with this brush this past month. Um, I really do like this. And I feel like it's lightweight enough to where I can wear it through the summer and I don't feel like it's melting off my face. Next is a concealer and um, I'd say a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, I purchased the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer at a MAC counter, and I've been using it ever since I got it. <laughs> That's why it's down so far. Um, but, uh, it kills me because I feel like it pumps out way too much. Like, I even can do, like, a little half pump, and I feel, still feel like it's too much that comes out, um, because I just tap it under my eyes, around my nose, uh, the middle of my forehead, down my cheek, uh, I mean, down my nose, sheesh, and I just blend it in with a Sigma, I want to say it's P84, it's like an angled condensed brush, um, I'm sure if you watch any of my makeup tutorials, you've seen it, but yeah, I've really been liking this, I feel like it gives really good coverage, and with the hours that I work, I'm, it really does last long to where I don't have to worry about my dark circles seeping up through. So, yeah, I've really been liking this. And I still want to get the uh, Studio Concealer that comes in a little um, jar thing. I don't know. Um, but that's whenever I get to another MAC counter. So, I've been loving that. And then... Okay, I have a love-hate relationship with this next product. I purchased it last month, and it's such a raved about setting powder that I was like, I'm going to try it because, you know, in the summer, I get a little more oily in my T-zone, and, you know, I've heard such great things about this powder. It has to work. Well, it's the Rimmel Stay Matte powder and I purchased mine in the translucent and just looks like that and okay this is the deal with it I love it to set my under eyes but with my t-zone I feel like it does not work like yeah it's matte when I first apply it but like an hour later like I feel like I need to reapply it and if you've watched my videos or been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I have normal skin. Like, 
I don't get really dry and I don't get really oily. But in the summer, my skin does produce a little bit more oils, obviously, because that's hot out. But it's not like a huge amount. So I'm like, this should have solved my problems. And I've applied it two different ways. I've tried applying it with a brush. I've tried applying it with like a powder puff. And I feel like using the powder puff and pressing it into my skin does help a little bit better. But if there's like a secret to using this on your face, let me know. Or if you think it's a product that's been raved a lot too and you just don't see why it's raved about so much, leave a comment down below. I just have a love-hate relationship with this <laughs> with it this past month. So I've loved it for setting my under eyes, but the face... I rather use my MAC skin finish, so I don't know. Love hate with that one. Next are two blushes. One is my Benefit Coralista blush, which I absolutely love um, because I've really been liking doing neutral eyes this month, and then I love adding the coral blush to make it more summery, so I've been liking that one as well as the Tarte. Amazonian clay in magic which I got this in a kit so I'm not sure if this is available in full size but I guarantee you they probably have a color in full size that looks like this it's just a gorgeous dark coral color and I like this one because it's matte whereas the Coralista is shimmery so depending on my mood if I want matte or shimmer I'll kind of switch between the two and then for my highlight I feel like I'm a highlight hoarder like I love highlighters and I'm always trying new ones and um, you know I have Mac soft and gentle I have the hard candy Tahiti one I have um, high beam moon beam which are liquid forms and I've recently discovered this one now I got this in a kit during Christmas from Sephora and I really didn't know what it was um, it says it's an all-over shimmer duo and kitten and it's from Stila but when I first saw it I thought it was an eyeshadow duo which you can use it for eyeshadow because that's what I was initially using it for but then I saw a video of someone's and it's supposed to really be a highlighter or the main purpose of it is to be a highlighter so I try it as a highlighter on my cheekbones and I've been in love with it ever since I applied it <laughs> I love this stuff um, and when I run out I probably will purchase the full size of it um, but I really do like this and I'm currently wearing it today as you can see it just gives a nice glow now this is like a satin finish. It's not shimmer and it's not glittery. It's more of a satin type finish, I feel like. Um, so yeah, what I do is I just blend the two colors and use them as a highlight. So yeah, I've really been loving that. Now on to eye products. Eye products, I've been really liking two Victoria's Secret makeup products. One is an eyeliner and this one is called dark chocolate and that's exactly what it is it's just a really dark brown color and on the opposite end it comes with a smudger but yeah I've really been liking this if I feel like using an eye pencil instead of using a black liner or a liquid liner or gel liner I've really been liking that and then the other thing I've really been liking, which is limited edition, so if you like it, I suggest going out and checking it out now or buying it offline now because it is limited edition. And it is from the VS in Paradise collection. And it has this really pretty bronzy gold packaging. And there's like four eyeshadow duos in the collection, but this one really stood out to me. Um, it's just a neutral one. And it's a baked eyeshadow. And the one side's um, just a shimmery brown, and the other side's like a marbleized um, shade. And 
I'll swatch it so you guys can see. So that is the gold side. That's the brown side. And then you can mix them together, which I do. And it comes out with that color. So you really get three colors, even though it just shows the two. You can have three colors. I just think they're so gorgeous. They're very pigmented, satiny. They just glide right on. They're very blendable. And um, Victoria's Secret has a YouTube channel, and they did a tutorial using this. So you could even see how um, their makeup artists use this particular one. And this one is in Boyne. Boyne. <laughs> Bon Voyage. Um, but I definitely thought it was one of the prettiest ones in the collection and one that I get a lot of use out of. So, yeah, I've really been liking that. And to lip products. So, I've been liking four different lip products. One's a lipstick, three are glosses. And I purchased this like two weeks ago, but I've been obsessed with it ever since I got it because I've been searching for a color like this where it's not too much of an orangey coral or bright coral and it's not like a hardly there coral it's like the perfect coral and it's one of Revlon's new lustrous lipsticks in lovers coral and it looks like this and I've been obsessed with this um, I just think it's so pretty looks like that and I feel like it's showing up brighter on camera than it actually is. It's a little more pinky than orange than it's appearing on camera. But I've been loving this. And I either wear it by itself or I've been pairing it with one of two glosses. Um, I've been pairing it with Revlon's Lustrous Lip Gloss in Pango Peach, which looks like this. And it's super pretty. It has gold sparkles in it. And yeah, I've really been liking layering that with it. Or if I want more of a non-sparkle look, I'll go with my NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel, which looks like this. So I've really been liking Coral, as you can tell. Um, but another gloss I've really been liking if I want more of like a neutral type nude look. Um, I've really been liking these glosses. And I'm going to have to go back and get more because it really does what it says. It's a Stay Glossy Lip Gloss from Rimmel. And this one is in Glam Nonstop Glamour. And it's just this gorgeous like nudie pink color with golden shimmer in it it's just really pretty and I really like it because it does what it says the my lips stay glossy looking like from the time I apply it to the time that I like eat something it stays glossy looking which I love because normal glosses I feel like you know the glossiness just goes away I don't know how but it does and I feel like this is a keeper so I've really been liking this and those are all the makeup products that I've been loving this past month for random type stuff I really don't have any fashion favorites again this month um, I've really been liking uh, Hunter Haynes new CD I'm like obsessed with it it's always playing in my car um, so that's music I've also been obsessed with the app Candy Crush. I told myself I wasn't going to load that onto my phone, but I said the heck with it. I was bored one day, loaded it onto my phone, and anytime I get a chance, I'll be on there playing with it. And I loaded it, I think, last week onto my phone, and um, 
I've been trying to do like one, maybe two levels a day if I can. So right now I'm on level 23 and I am stuck on stinking level 23. I can't get past it. And like, I don't know if there's like any tricks. Like yesterday I was so close. It really made me mad because I did not want to spend 99 cents for extra moves to win the game or whatever. I had like one jelly left. I really got mad because I was so close. So close. <sighs> I just can't beat level 23. Everyone else I know. But they've had it on their phones for a long time. So they're like on like a hundred. Like all the way up to the hundredth level or higher. And I can't get past level 23. <laughs> I know I'll get past it. But I just don't know if there's any tricks to getting past it. So if there is, I'll leave it down in the comments below. Because I know I'm not the only person because I just saw um, Miss Jen Fabulous's monthly favorites. And she's stuck on level 23 too. So <laughs> I'm not the only one. But yeah, I think those are all my favorites for this month. Um, ooh, I do have a drink favorite. Because I normally don't have food or drink favorites either but oh I actually do have a food all right food I've been obsessed with Oreo double stuffed cookies I know they're bad for you and yeah but they're so good some of that has been a food obsession this past month I've been downing a lot of Oreos drink favorite I normally always get my mocha frappuccino from Starbucks but I've really been into getting their lemonades I don't I don't know. I just felt like a refreshing drink one day, and I was like, I really don't want coffee, and I'm not a tea drinker, so I thought, hey, I'd get a lemonade. Yeah, I'm kind of addicted to those, and I tried the Valencia orange one, and I think it might taste better if I told them to add a little bit more orange, but it kind of tasted like orange Kool-Aid, so I don't know, but that's good too, but... Yeah, so those are my monthly favorites. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and leave your monthly favorites as a video response down below or tell me down in the comments what is one of your monthly favorites. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.